Good morning, everyone, from Buffalo, New York, USA. And it's, yes, it's me once again, Alex, here, as I just mentioned, in Buffalo. Just filmed a walking video. First ever one in the United States. Uh, ended up at the uh, Niagara Square. And uh, now we're just walking north here in Delaware Avenue. And so far, I, despite, the, despite that it's kind of chilly out, this city is architecturally beautiful. I was just filming some random clips. And yeah, it is busy because it's the, uh, it's still the tail end of, hey, there's an Oilers, there's an Oilers uh, sticker on that truck. Wow. Unusual. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I did. My eagle eyes. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're just gonna be walking north up Probably Delaware Avenue to... Oh, okay. We're going to cross to the other side now. I'm not going to risk a chance here. So this is a pretty long street that will go into uh, the historic Allentown district. Oh, <laughs> oops. So this is the courthouse here. And... Uh, Shall we head? Nope. There we go. Whew. Sometimes I gotta get used to the uh, <laughs> the pedestrian signals because not a lot of them have their uh, countdown signals like we do in Toronto. Anyway, let me get my map out here on the phone. So as I mentioned uh, in my last walking video, we're only here in Buffalo for the day. We drove an hour and 45 minutes from Toronto on the QEW. And uh, we took the Peace Bridge over from Fort Erie, Ontario, right into Buffalo. And yes, guys, this is my very first visit to the United States of America. And again, a big shout out to all of my American subscribers and followers. You never thought I would get all the way down here to the home of the brave. Well, despite that, we're just right across from Canada. This is the New Balance uh, Global Headquarters. Wow. Nice. Ah, not a good view here for a picture. I know there's a major street just to the uh, just just a block uh, from here. That would be Elmwood Avenue, but oh, okay. The highway does uh, make a right and then up Main Street. Okay. Maybe we'll stay on uh, Delaware for the time being. <laughs> See, look, pedestrian signal confused me, even with the street lights. Not like back in Toronto. Oh, this is the Embassy Suites, obviously hotel, and the Hampton Inn, Domino's. And there's another Canadian flag. It is not uncommon at all to see many Canadians living here. But for the most part, a lot of them come from uh, Ontario, of course, down here. Just for a day to shop. And finally... My dad and I have done it. And again, I'm, this is still like my first impressions of uh, the United States. I like it here, I really do. But there's a lot more to see and later on I am going to be going into the Rand Building which is a very historic Art Deco uh, skyscraper that has completely original Otis elevators. So I'm looking forward to that, but I also got to get this camera a rest at some point because my battery's at two bars, so... Here's Chippewa Street. Starbucks coffee. Right next to a pizzeria. You're kidding me. Yeah, AI is definitely taking over. And there's Key Bank, which is another American bank. 
Oh, this is a nice looking stretch here. So I don't see uh, any Ontario plates yet. I did see one in my last walking video. Hey, Texas! I think this, this might be the first ever time I'm seeing a Texas license plate. Or maybe the second. I swear I saw one in Toronto. Also, I like how the uh, New York plates on the, on the vehicles have some sort of diversity. Because one is... A lot of them are yellow, but they also have uh, silhouettes of the uh, skyline and the falls. Hey, we got a Massachusetts license plate here. I have not seen a Massachusetts plate in Toronto in a really long time. I, got, I know I got viewers in Massachusetts are probably watching this. And you got the Empire State right at the bottom. And after this, I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I am gonna take this, get this camera a rest here pretty soon. Oh, NBC station, WGRZ on your side. Oh, I got some old storefronts here. Look, depicting the Buffalo skyline, or that, that pretty much reminds me of New, the uh, New York skyline. Yes, New York State is huge, as I've mentioned in the in my previous walking video. Buffalo is the second largest city in New York State. Obviously, New York City, which is a six-hour drive from here. You know what that is. And it's the, uh, the seat of Erie County. And, of course, Buffalo is on the, uh, the shoreline of Lake Erie. There's the M&T Bank. So we're still heading north into the Allentown district. And then I don't know where, maybe I'll meet with my dad and uh, while well, I give this camera a charge. Maybe, and then maybe I'll think of a third or fourth walking video. I thought I would never film, I thought I wouldn't even film a walking videos here because you know, United States, uh, as I mentioned before, they have a gun problem, but Buffalo is relatively safe. And look, the blue sky is coming out, great. But we're gonna keep it like that. And unfortunately, I know Buffalo has a light rail system, but I don't have any intentions on running public transit here today. But random clips, yes. And walking videos for sure. And an elevator video, maybe. Ohio! Nice church here. Buffalo Fire Department truck, Tupper Street. Oh, this guy's on the crosswalk. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Actually, maybe I'll, uh... Nah, I'm not gonna veer off. Okay, so we're almost there to Allentown. So I think the next major street is Edward Street. I'll make a left and then we'll head into Allentown. 
Good to see the sunlight come out. I'm gonna walk a little slow here. Buffalo Club. Hmm. Yeah, now the sun's really coming out. When we came in an hour ago, that's cloudy as hell, but luckily, no rain. Uh, All right, so here is Edward Street. So I am going to make a left. There's a Nova LFS natural gas bus. Route 25 downtown Michigan. CNG. We used to have uh, CNG buses in Toronto, but uh, they, didn't, they didn't work out well. They're having negative impacts on the environment. Hamilton has CNG buses, but uh, they're not... Uh, I've, actually, but they're only re the only reason why they're used here is because Hamilton is a very industrial city. And it's already producing uh, natural gas. So, uh, maybe I'm going... Maybe we'll... Uh, Okay, what? I'll cross right here. I'm going to make a left, and then uh, we'll head into the uh, Allentown, Allentown district. All right, so let's go in here in Edward. Oh, Kleinman's Music Hall. What is this building right here? Hmm. I don't know if I've mentioned the date already, but uh, if I didn't, well, today is Wednesday, April the 26th, 2023. So here's Elmwood Avenue. And that'll take me into the historic district. <sighs> now we got some old homes here. I like the green on this on the uh, windowsills here. So again, I'm going to get this uh, camera a rest, charge it, because I am going to be filming more. And also, my hands. Oh, there's Virginia Avenue, just like the state. A lot of the a lot of the streets here in Buffalo, I'm noticing, they're named after U.S. states. There's a dollar tree here. Family dollar. Oh, there must be like two together. And here we are. Walk from downtown Buffalo to Allentown. Oh, wow. Look at these colored homes. Woo. This kind of... I think they kind of remind me of uh, that little side street in Toronto on the east end of downtown, uh, Bright Street. 
Oh wow. Now this is colorful. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh, I love the green and purple. I'm going to start walking as a, at a snail's pace. This is beautiful. I think at the lights I'm going to wrap up the video and uh, decide where to go next. I am going to meet with my dad in a few minutes, so... Ooh, love the pink! Utah! Never seen it, never seen it. Historic Allentown, Allentown Facade Project. Is this the most colorful street I've ever been on? We don't have this here in in, in, uh, in Toronto, but it definitely reminds me of the uh, of Bright Street. I guess I could say that, but it's not as color it's not as colorful as this. Smoke shop. Being patriotic, there's the American flag on a colorful greenhouse. Not a single Ontario play here. Oh, Nova Scotia. Right there. Nice. And the black and gold Michigan plate. Wait, let me double check and see if that is a Nova Scotia plate. It is! Or is it? I can't even see. So, I'm going to wrap up the video here. And again, as I, I don't want, I'm sorry for being repetitive, but I, I want to charge my camera. Oh, here's Allen Street. Here is of Allen Road. Same name in my old hood. And it looks like this uh, this intersection was... Uh, oh, it's under construction here. I mean, not much, but they obviously did something here. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Maybe I'm going to think of where I'm going to walk next. But probably not now, though. So, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for a couple more Buffalo, New York videos to come. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, as always, um, <laughs> I post, uh, of course, I post videos back home in Toronto. But uh, Buffalo, the different kind, it's good to be here. So, thanks guys. Oh, this reminds me of Montreal now. Look at that. All right. Anyway, peace out.